You made a way. You made a way. Don't know how you did it, but you did it. Don't know how you did it, but you did it. You made a way. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, my sheroes. Good morning, my heroes. Good morning, my kings. Good morning, my queens. Good morning, my strong ones. Good morning, my survivors. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you made a way. You guys, that was dropped in my spirit. God is making a way for you guys on this day that he has made. God has made a way. We don't know how he did it, but he has did it. He made a way. Y'all, listen, I cannot sing. I used to be able to sing when I was younger. So I don't know what has messed my throat up, but I cannot sing anymore. But God knows. My heart, he knows. Listen, you don't have to have an angelic voice to lift up your voice and sing a praise out to God. If you're watching this video right now, you make sure you praise God. You give him all the glory. You give him all the honor. You thank him for waking you up on this morning. Because God is amazing. God is good. God is awesome. One thing about it, two things for sure. Which, uh, if y'all believe that where it, whatever it is that you're going through in this present moment, God is going to make a way. He is definitely going to make a way. And when God gives you life, that's what he's already made a way. He gave you life to get up this morning, to start a new, to get it, to, to do it all over again. Being able to wake up and see a new day, figure it out, start it all over again. One thing about it, let me tell you something. We can sit here and pretend like... What we're going through is bigger than God. We could pretend like what we're going through is going to kill us. We could put, and I say pretend because we really know deep down inside that God is going to make a way. And if you don't, if you do not believe that, and I, I, I'm gonna say this. Let me let me rephrase it because I already know people gonna come for me in the comments about who God is. Though this this message is specifically for those who believe and trust in God. If you don't believe in him and you don't trust in him, no, you're not going to see it. But if you do, God is telling you, he is going to make a way. Everything that you're going through, everything that you lack in, he is going to make a way. You got to trust and believe in that. I am so happy and excited for you guys because God has something big in me big for you guys i can see it i can feel it i had a dream on last night that i had a flat tire right god showed me in the vision i had a flat tire and i got in my car and i was driving i was scared to get in my car this morning got in my car and i was driving and for whatever reason as i'm driving my tire began to re fill itself up the air began to come back into the tire and i said lord as i'm sitting there reform now, now let, let me let me read let me back up a few steps because when i got in the car the tire was flat i got in and i had to drive it to where i was taking it to as i'm driving i'm looking at my bank account and it says five dollars and i'm like lord how am i going to get this tire repaired with five dollars now you know you got some places that you can take it to they're repaired for 25 little plug and you know depending on what the tire issue is okay y'all ignore on it sitting back he's on his way to school but i had to get this message out and as i'm driving the tire began to repair itself the air began to fill back up in the tire god is saying to you I'm going to make a way for you in, in, in unexpected places, places that you didn't even think that I would be able to make a way for you in, you guys. I just need you guys to have hope, have faith, trust and believe in God. Just, just hold on a little while longer. It is Friday. And I know the weekend is coming. I know you guys want to get out and have fun, but I need you guys to get ready. Get ready for your blessings. I, I just I spoke of this on yesterday. Get ready, get ready. 
Yo, that blessing, that breakthrough is so close. I could taste it for you. You get what I'm saying? And so I just want you to, to, to remain faithful, remain hopeful, remain humble. Just, just stay, just stay on course. Stick to God. Continue to press, to continue to press on. Continue to trust and believe in Him. Continue to pray. Continue to ask Him for guidance. Continue to ask Him to lead you to the path that you're supposed to go on to receive this blessing. I just want you to keep Him in your heart. I want you to to to, to begin worshiping because He made a way. We don't know how He's going to do it, but He is definitely going to make a way. He's going to make a way out of nowhere. That air that you need for them tires, that is, it's just going to come from nowhere. And that's just how God is. He is an awesome God. He's an amazing God. He is an all-knowing God, okay? And I, I, I just want, God is dropping in my spirit right now. There's some, some of you who are doubtful. There are some of you who are unbelievers. There are some of you who are afraid you fear. You fear that it's not going to work out, but God is saying it's going to work out. It's going to just, just trust and believe in me because what's going to happen is you're going to try to do things your own way and then it's going to work out and you're going to be like, why didn't I wait? Because God has already given you, he's telling you right now, this is, this, this is, this is confirmation that, you know, if you woke up this morning and you decided that you felt like something was not going to work out. God is giving you confirmation right now that it's going to work itself out. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. God made a way. God is making a way. And you just got to trust and believe that he is going to make a way. God, I, 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 that is so amazing. You guys, he's so awesome. I can't believe I had that dream that, you know, um, I, I had one tire. Had, it was flat. No air. And I was struggling to get to the store to put air on that tire. And miraculously, God put air in my tire. You guys, I know my face looks a little ashy. I don't know why my face does this. It's ashy. It is. You guys, it is definitely ashy. Let me put some... Mm -hmm. Put a little lotion on. That's a little better. That's a little better. Because I know y'all going to be like, why is she sitting up here talking us all this stuff? And she asked you, let me tell you, God use everybody. God use everybody. God uses everybody. And I want y'all to get out of that notion. I want y'all to stop. Stop, stop. stop believing that the person that's supposed to bring you uh, God's word is supposed to be this angelic angel. Because um, those are the ones you need to be careful for. The well-dressed ones. The ones that's, that's you know... They, they got to be perfect before they come to you. They speak eloquently. Those are the scammers. I'm not saying they are. I'm not all of you. But I'm just saying, you got to be careful for some of them. Because, listen, I've been scammed by church people. I've been scammed by church people. When I tell you, don't, don't, don't fall victim. Don't fall victim. I love going to church. I'm, you know, I'm a member of a church. I'm not saying all churches are bad, but what I'm saying is you just got to be careful. I don't know why this, this 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 message went left, but oh, I know why. Because God is saying, the person who's doubtful, you have been hurt by church people. Yep. You fear it. You, the person who's doubtful, there's somebody who's fearful of receiving the word because they've been hurt. They've been They've been scammed by someone from church and they feel like anybody who's bringing the word or bringing the message of God is um trying to scam them nope I'm not y'all I wish I could explain my experiences with you guys one day I'll sit down and give you a full story time of my life events because that is very eventful hopefully I can write my finish writing my book but you guys when I come to you I come to you as humble as I can I come to you from war <laughs> that's the best way i could put it from war and god has been dealing with me for years years upon years upon years upon years and i just again i was just like you guys i didn't know i didn't want to i don't you know i really didn't want to come out and speak but god keeps speaking to me and i can't hold it in any longer and 
I didn't want to because I I fear what people would say. How I, you know, I fear what people would say. But I'm at this point now that I don't care what people say. I only care what he say. And God is saying to do what I'm doing. Okay. And until he tell me otherwise, this is where where I'm a, what I'm gonna do, what I'm a, where I'm gonna be at. Okay. But anyway, all of that was said because someone needed to hear that. Someone is definitely feeling doubtful about speaking a word. Someone, someone is feeling doubtful about um ob being obey obedient to God and they're worrying about what other people are saying. So I want you to take that fear out of your heart, take that fear out of your mind. I want you to and and and, and you fear doing it because you don't know how you're gonna get other things done. God is saying he, he He's going to make a way. You know what I'm saying? Listen to that song. Don't know. I don't. I can't think of the, who, the, who the artist is or the full lyrics. I just know. Don't know how you did it, but you did it. And let me tell you, I didn't even listen to that song this morning. It just dropped in my spirit right before I was getting ready to get on camera. Anyway, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Y'all already know the drill. As always, be a blessing to others. Until the next video. Bye.